Today, I'm going to show you some numbers that will absolutely blow you away, show you how easy it is to secure your children's financial future. Naturally, I want to give my kids a sort of opportunities that I never had. And one of the ways I'm doing that is by taking control of their financial future as young as I possibly can. And how I'm doing that is by investing into the stock market on their behalf in an extremely tax efficient way. Now, as you can see, nearly 90% of the viewers of this channel are over 25 years of age. Also, for some reason, I'm at nearly 100% males. I really do not appeal to women, but that's a different story. So there's a high likelihood, given those numbers, that you're gonna be a parent. Now, raising kids is one of the most rewarding things you can ever possibly do. And the love you have for those little buggers knows no bounds. I don't know about you, but my parents weren't very good with money. Probably what made me be quite as obsessed with it as I am. In fact, not to go through personal stories, but my dad died in 2013 penniless. My mum died in 2017 with not much more. And in fact, in both instances where my parents passed away, it cost money paying for funerals and removals and all sorts of things like that. So I want to change that for my kids and do the absolute best I possibly can for their financial futures. And I'm sure you do too. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your kids very wealthy indeed without very much money at all, actually. I'm also going to show you what I've done for my kids. I'm going to show you their accounts. I'm not sure there's too many YouTubers out there that are showing their kids investment portfolio. So perhaps that's going to be a first. But as always on Neil Invests, I show by doing. I'm as transparent as I can possibly be. So I will show you all my investment portfolios, accounts, everything you want to see. I'll show you. Now, exactly what I'm doing in order to try and do, as I've said, is I am using a stocks and shares ISA and a junior stocks and shares ISA at that. Now, I could do a whole video on a raft of different options that there are that exist out there, comparing costs, analyzing the pros and cons of every different platform. I'm not going to do that. I'm sure there's videos that are out there. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing, what I think is the best route. This is not an affiliate link. This is just in terms of what I'm doing and I think it's the right thing to do. So what is a junior stocks and shares ISA? First of all, well, it's a tax protected account where you can put up to 9,000 pounds a year into it. No, you pay no tax on the way in, you pay no tax on the way out, you pay no tax on any of the gains that you make, and it is completely in your child's name. You cannot withdraw that money as soon as it goes in there. Bear that in mind, that's an important one. So if you're putting money into this account that you think you might need, um, don't, because you have no access to it. The only time it can be accessed is by that child when they reach 18 years of age. Now at that point, it's up to them what they do with that cash. So it's probably going to take a little bit of parental influence to make sure they don't blow it. Reminds me of a story when I was 18 years old in my first term in university. I went to Liverpool University at 18 years of age. And I liked a beer. Most people do at that age when they go to a big city. And within the first term, there was a massive fire in my house. No one was injured or hurt or anything. Nothing to worry about like that. But basically the top floor exploded some sort of gas leak i lost everything all of my possessions apart from a couple of suitcases that i brought to university how it was no one's fault it was a gas issue which meant that the um, insurance company paid out they paid out in full and i received a check my parents on my behalf received a check for three and a half thousand pounds to cover everything now my mom gave me that three and a half thousand pounds and as you can guess by the second term of university there was nothing left actually there was one thing and I have it right there on my wall. I wonder if I can turn it and show you. All right, let's have a look at what this was. That guitar. Well, it's probably hooked up now anyway, I haven't come back. So that guitar was the one thing that I bought. It's the one thing that's lasted and I've kept, but what can you do? So don't give your kids three and a half thousand pounds when they're 18 years of age and they like to drink a beer. So lesson of the story, whatever you, so the lesson here is, unless you've got extremely sensible kids, much more sensible than I was, don't go giving them three and a half thousand pounds when they're 18 years of age and have just moved to a big city. So that aside, let me show you some examples. Where's my... So that aside, I wanna show you some examples of what you can do with not very much money at all if you have a stocks and shares ISA for your kids. Once we've looked at a couple of examples, I'll show you my account for my kids and also a little trick I have to make sure that actually I increase my returns significantly. So let's start with a couple of examples. Imagine you somehow imagine managed to get hold of a thousand pounds when your child is first born. 
that might be extremely possible or extremely impossible depending upon your circumstances but i'm going to put a link to this calculator below feel free to use it and play around with the numbers i spent half my day on these bloody things so we're going to assume you've got a thousand pounds you've put it straight away as soon as they're born into a stocks and shares iso we're going to assume a rate of return of about nine percent which is about what the market has returned over the last hundred years and we're going to knock but nine years we're going to say that you they can't touch it until now we'll start with 18 we'll start with 18 so a thousand pounds with no additional contributions invested at 18 at zero by the time they're 18 they'll have five thousand so it's a five bagger if 500 percent increase in terms of your investment it's all right it's a good start but now let's have a look if you do nothing but they hold on to it until they retire just a thousand pounds still calculate that they will have four hundred thousand pounds four hundred thousand pounds with one lump sum thousand pound investment when they are zero years old they can retire pretty chuffin wealthy now let's have another one that i like to do which is actually we want to get a deposit on their house so we start with a thousand pounds we think that we're going to get get them on their property market by the time they're 25 and we're going to put 100 quid in each month not breaking the bank hopefully for most people if you can just scrape together 100 quid Per child, you're going to put yourself in a position where you've got £120,000. Now, by the time kids born now reach £25,000, £120,000 with inflation, what's it going to be worth? It's £70,000, 70, something like that. But it is a deposit on a house. You've got them on the property ladder. Now, imagine a scenario whereby this is the one that I'm hoping for. I have, what have I got? About 3400 in there, assuming the 9% return. We want to get them to 40 years old, which is my age right now. God damn it. And we're putting £100 in a month. By the time they reach my age, they will have £590,000. £400 a month. £590,000. If someone gave me £590,000 right now, I'd be pretty happy. So this is what I'm talking around. Play about with this calculator. You can secure your children's futures with not that much money at all. Now, here is mine as you can see i've got two kids i'm just gonna show you one of them they're about the same uh, i've got about three thousand four hundred pounds in this isa i am using hargreaves lands down now when you use hargreaves lands down the fees are four junior ices pretty standard in, in all honesty for standard ices they're a bit expensive but for junior ices they're fair fair price you can invest as little as 25 pound a month into this and that's what i'm doing at the moment i have a consistent 25 pound a month going into both of these funds so as you can see i've got an all world and i've got an s p 500 so that gives me exposure to the whole world so with 50 pound a month going into those accounts let's have a look at the numbers here we'll pull them up so we'll do 40 40 years and we're going to put it down to 50 50 pounds uh, that's going to give them um, 356,000 pounds. Now, that's with no increase in terms of payments whatsoever. What I'm aiming to do is get them to 18 years of age and then get them to invest, put it into an ISA themselves and continue that investment journey. They could be in a position where if they really aggressively go after that, they could be millionaires by the time they're 30. Now, I started investing at 37 years old and I regret that, but there's nothing I can do about it. I didn't really learn about it, know about it, do anything about it until I was that age. No one taught me, wasn't taught at school. My parents clearly didn't teach me, but my kids have started investing at seven and nine years old. They have a 30 year head start on me and we all know the beauty of what can happen with compounding. Now, the little tip that I mentioned earlier that I do to significantly increase the returns in my kids' portfolios and also teach them a lesson is I have a deal with them. Any money they give me, I will double and put into their account. So the way it works is like this. If my kids get 100 quid for Christmas and they give me the entirety of the 100 pounds to invest on their behalf, I turn it into 200 quid and that then compounds from there. Now, what they often do is they'll want to hold back a certain amount. So they might get 100 quid, they keep 50 quid, but they give me 50 quid and they're getting 100 quid invested. I have one child that is much more aggressively into the investing than the other and he's the younger one. He wants to put everything in there. He often goes around the house and going, what can I do for a couple of quid? you know, a job, hoover the house, whatever it is, and then you'll double it. So uh, you really are teaching the kids at a young age of the benefits that can be had through investing. And as you saw from my account, they're already doing pretty well, 20 odd percent up. As I mentioned, the Targary's Lansdowne that I use, link below, not an affiliate. You won't get anything. I won't get anything. 
but that's just the way it is. Feel free to use that. One other thing, anyone that got to this point is probably a pretty serious viewer. I appreciate that. You're a legend. I want to make you aware of a newsletter that I'm starting. I'm going to put a link below. Feel free to use that. Sign up. I'm not going to spam you. I just want to get closer to you guys. Share some stories, share some insights, tell you what I'm doing in my portfolio, perhaps as if there's any deals out there, let you know about it. So feel free to sign up with that. And finally, thanks for watching. Good to see you again. Take care.